Assalamu alaikum everyone. Dear student, today we talk about our, this is our third class about our resource. So, in this class we will learn, in this class we will learn source of natural fuel in Bangladesh, natural gas and use of natural gas, use of petroleum and also coal. So in our country we will found three types three major natural fuel. They are natural gas, coal and petroleum. So in this picture we see that oil, natural gas and coal. These three are major natural resources in our country. So first of, first one is natural gas. Natural gas basically methane gas. So in natural gas, basically we found methane gas. We also found a small amount of ether, propane and butane are also present in natural gas. And we also found a small amount of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, hydrogen sulfide and also we will found helium. So use of natural gas. In this bar diagram, we see that which sector mainly natural gas are used. So in this bar diagram we see that in, in industrial purpose 32% of natural gas are used in industrial purpose and electricity production we use 24% natural gas are used in electricity production and in residential purpose we use 22% natural gas. Commercial purpose we use 14% and other purpose we use we use 8% 8, 8 of natural gas. So in our country, 21% of natural gas are also used in urea production. So all of you know that urea is one kind of fertilizer. So 21% of natural gas used in urea production. In our country, majority of electricity is produced from natural gas. In Bangladesh, natural gas also used in vehicles as a fuel in, since two th 2003 so since 2003 we use natural gas as a fuel so petroleum our another natural resource is petroleum petroleum includes all liquid fuels including propane and butane so Petroleum includes a liquid fuel. So petroleum is one kind of liquid fuel which is contain propane and butane. Natural gas and petroleum also found together in ore. So we will found natural gas and petroleum togetherly. Use of petroleum where we use petroleum. The major part of petroleum is used as fuel in vehicles. In vehicles we use petroleum. Petroleum is also used in industrial industry such as fertilizer production, pesticide production, coal, tar and lumbricant and greases etc. So our third natural resource is coal. Coal is readily combustible black or blackish brown sedimentary rock. So coal is one kind of rock. The main elements of coal is carbon. Based on geographical location, coal contains variable amount of hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen and nitrogen. Coal also contains hydrogen, sulfur, oxygen and nitrogen. Coal is vulnerable, is widely used as a fuel. Mainly we use coal as a fuel. In this picture, this is the picture of coal. In our country, we, we, we find three types of coal lignatite coal, bituminous coal and anthracite coal. This is the picture of lignatite coal and bituminous coal and anthracite coal. So anthracite coal. Now we learn about anthracite coal and li sorry lignatite coal. Lignatite coal is brown coal. This coal is soft and combustible also sedimentary rock. This it is considered the lowest rank of coal due to its low heat content. Lignatite coal is 150 million years old and it contains also 60 to 70% carbon. 
is also contain 60 to 70 percent of carbon. Bituminous coal. Bituminous coal or black coal also soft coal but its quality is higher than lignitite coal. When high pressure is given to lignitite coal, the bituminous coal created. Bituminous coal is 300 million years old and it contains 50 to 80 percent of carbon. This coal also contains 50 to 80 percent of carbon. Anthracite coal. This coal is oldest and hardest coal which from 350 million years ago and it contain approximately 95 percent of carbon. This coal is also used in metal industry due to its high heat value. So from these three types of coal we found that the amount of carbon is different. So that's why we found three types of coal. So today our class is in. In our next class we will start a new chapter living with disaster. Chapter 9 living with disaster. So thank you student.